Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jeff. Um, that impression, I don't know. If you could rate it for me, that would be great. Leave a comment down below and let me know how we, what you think. <laughs> we are back at it again with Big B. That's the second time we tried it. Nothing. All right, from the last episode, we thought His Snow was dead. Murders. Well, that's appropriate. Some new tarot cards. Who's putting the... The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? Who's putting down these tarot cards for us to find? I hope you can find what you're looking for. The hermit. The wolf. I think that that is setting what's about to happen to us. I think this episode, we're going to see the first time baby turns to an actual full transformation. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Pretty sure we looked at whatever else, everything that's been here before. Beauty and Beast, always putting on a show for each other. What's that mean? Seems like not much has changed between me and Woody. I meant what I said, Snow. We'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm. There's a lot of questions about faith, especially what Dee said that she's not who we think we are. What? What did I just say? She's not who we think she is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, check out anyone who fits that profile. We might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Hmm. I just want a minute. I feel like we when you're ready. left something out. Hold on. To the side, to the side. Um, uh, I guess. That's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Big B? Who are you like, spying What are you doing at? with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shitter. <laughs> I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting there a long time. <laughs> He's so funny. He's like, cancel it. TJ. He's like talking to it's the mirror right. like he's putting Are you an ready order. To talk to Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Cancel the order. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Poor kid. So tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, son. Hmm. 
I like his shirt stock thing instead of swamp thing. Careful, oh. Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. Hmm. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> I feel so bad. Her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying. I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Yeah, Toad. Back off a little so bit. Didn't stand or please? <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, Stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> see anyone? Did you see who it was? No. Oh, okay. I think. <laughs> Sheriff. I think that's it. I don't want to. Okay, okay, TJ. I'm sorry. Oh. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I he... promise. Don't be sorry. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> oh, no. The Thank poor you, baby. Okay, son. Mm. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that went about as well as I expected. Kids are so precious. You want to go look at the body now? You mess with the kids, you mess with me. With the big bad wolf. When you're ready. I turn into the big bad wolf. Mirror. You gotta say Hello, words. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Mm. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his Can son? he tell us that? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Mirror, mirror. Don't forget, Big B. Alright, uh, show me the woodsman. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Good rhyme. Good well, job that's there. that's helpful. <laughs> it's just true. I love it. Where I love can it. I find Tweedledum. <laughs> uh, that piece of <laughs> scum. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> what is he up to now? Oh my gosh. So funny. Him in the mirror. Uh <laughs> 
snow's perfume. <laughs> Le Aloha. Didn't they talk about that earlier? Um, when they were talking about faith. All right, let's go take a look at the. Also, the body. I'd like you to get me some information on this neighborhood watch program that the Mundys have. I believe I already have some pamphlets on file. You want to go look at the body now? Sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Let's take a look at it. Come on. Is that the head in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? If you haven't seen that movie, totally recommend it. Um, it's called Seven. I love it. I love movies like that. Here we go. So it's the glamour that made her look like that. Look exactly just like snow. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. How do we know who's the real snow? That's the question. I mean, you never know. Check her mouth. What if? There might be you a know? ribbon in there, like before. Ah, how does she know? <laughs> Anything? Nothing. Imagine. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. It's a Looks clean cut too. Like Faith's dead. Hmm. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I <laughs> saw the bottle on your desk. Wow. That's really good. They even put the same perfume as the original Snow puts on. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. It's a brooch. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Why bother with the right perfume if the appearance isn't completely accurate? Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Hmm. Rope marks. Sort of cinder, cinder blocks. They tied cinder blocks to her ankles so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? Hmm. I've never seen one this sloppy. It looks Interesting. Like it's failing. But glamours aren't supposed to do that. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's mm. not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure. But there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Hey, put some gloves on. Her 
fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Hmm. What are you doing? Let's try it one more time. Find out. Uh, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Maybe she hang like she got a grab of the flowers before she fell down. Maybe before You're they right. threw her down. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? Mm. Snow, do you mind if I uh, open her coat? Open her coat. Bigby, just let me do it. Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We We're trying to learn as much going. as we could. Ichabod is so such a pain. Gah. Getting on my nerve. <laughs> hmm. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Okay. Awkward. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Well, you keep quiet. I... <laughs> I had to. There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Hmm. Should I open it? Okay, so we have to match. Here. What does that mean? Oh. Hmm. Kind of like what they do in voodoo. It's her hair. It's snow, sir. Right? Is that? It's your hair. Who got close to her this entire game? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? The glamour. She's a troll? You've got to be kidding me. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. I was going to sure say, is that Holly? Homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She, she looks exactly like Holly. 
the, um, of the, the bartender. No, she looks a little. Her okay. sister? What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. She was reported oh, missing, no. but it. Oh no. I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing? Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, after the yelling she did on me and back in the office, no way I'm gonna freaking say no to her again or try to control her. <laughs> No way. She's got this a mind of her own. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Oh, no. Here we go again. <laughs> Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. Who's this guy? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. <laughs> Their faces. Okay. Miss White. <gasps> I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Jack. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Jack and the beer. Here, about you. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh. Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. I didn't do Maybe. that. Come on, you can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? Okay, I had enough of this guy. What happened? <laughs> I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I oh, don't no. know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Hmm. I'm sorry, Holly. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Keep that ah, mouth shut. Fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow Fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? All right. Come you on, everybody. One ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. She's got the same similar tattoo as her sister. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. That's tough. That's really tough. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. Isn't it's that evidence? And very old. Oh, oh. I wish we had time to reminisce. Oh, snow. We really don't. Oh. Fine, why did I do that? Give her a minute. That was a mistake. <laughs> Grand. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life, honestly. We didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? The city could do it that to you. so fucking petty now. But I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. Mm. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Pudding Holly, and pie? It, it's okay. If it's too Georgie, much, we don't have these. to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Anything else you can tell us? Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. But that's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? We're getting somewhere. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Except really? for that. Thanks. It just made everything easier. Except for the first choice that we talked. <laughs> we don't have time for this. We don't have time to grieve right now. <laughs> I. Achievement unlocked. Sisters. I'm glad her tension with Snow also loosened up a little bit during that conversation. Everybody has it out for me or Snow. Okay. The pudding and pie at the Bronx. Hmm. So I wonder if Faith. Oh. oh look, Sheriff, same ribbon. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure, or both? 
I've got some questions. All business. For Georgie. No time for pleasure. Straight to business this time, then. Nope, You're never been here before. He's here. <laughs> Come on. My first time. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Wow. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> Great My intro. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. What do you think you're doing? So this is Georgie. Like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice place. I didn't know they have nudity in this game. <laughs> good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? All right, Georgie. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Everybody's wearing the same ribbon as Faith. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. The heck? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. Oh, just stopped in for the chips then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. I just, I should slap you just for saying that. Ah, <laughs> everybody's okay, getting on my nerves. All right, sheriff, just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. I think it's because somebody died and made me so emotional. <laughs> I Listen, care about Sheriff, the favors. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. You didn't he spit anything out. You know. <laughs> Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of mm. fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? 
try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now to wow. do with me. Go on, then. So everybody does hate me. <laughs> well, he is the sheriff. They do take a lot of heat. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. No. What you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? No. That's what you like. One no. More time. Who hired her? Oops. Was he gonna punch me? Oh no! Fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. <laughs> you proud of yourself, mate. This guy is sad. Proud of your little mess. Oh, his boy's gonna come. Fuck's sake. Fuck off, hands. I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey. Hey, that's my personal property. Uh. Sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. I'm not going to do it. I'm the big good wolf now. I'm not. <laughs> Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now. Should I start breaking things? <laughs> Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Uh, Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Okay, not the alcohol. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I should have done oh, it. Sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want Starting to know jotted down box. inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, something's over there. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. I could just Sheriff, open it. Sheriff, will you come on? <laughs> Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Uh, I'm not going to hurt him. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh my gosh. I'm so Women close. Dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. So freaking close. It. Leave it. Oh Put my gosh. I'm destroying this place. <laughs> you might oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, alright. There all we right. go. Yes. Alright. Finally. <laughs> He'll remember what? I didn't do anything. He'll remember that I'm a good wolf now. Good little doggy. Bloody come on, then. Prick. <laughs> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. That's the book. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, 
I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. Two oh What's two oh seven? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. You're not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. What are you gonna call? Hello? Ichabod? Business office. What's in here? Georgie. <laughs> There's nobody there. Who are you looking at? Big B. Georgie. Alright. He's ignoring us. Yeah, that's right. Let's try it one more time. Georgie. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it until you answer me, Georgie. Georgie. <laughs> it's just... Alright, enough of that. Uh, there's something else in here. It's gonna make us grab the cash. I wanna talk to the deputy mayor. Fifty-eight. Hmm. Fifty-eight. Was that my cash? Isn't that how much I gave Faith? Fifty-eight. Hmm. No way. Yeah, we're gonna put the money back for now, but... I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, alright? That was my money. That's how much I give, but I don't know that. So I'm not gonna touch it. No, I don't want to. I was really tempted to, though. Because I feel like that is definitely mine. Lily. Faith. They're right next to each other. Lock's been busted open. Both of them. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Hmm. Weird. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. That's it. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Yeah, because I've never been here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. There's that lost cat poster again. Oh, for Kitty. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Little Mermaid? Is she? Whatever makes them happy. Ariel? Ariel? My Oops. name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. She's the of original Little Mermaid. I don't have answers. How dare me. You'll have to find those yourself. Mr. Smith? I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. 
We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. Yeah, everybody keeps saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Stop it. Don't say it. Sheriff Don't you dare. <laughs> would you like to make an appointment with me? Ah, you're going to go there? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Okay. Oh, I see. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Oh, I don't have that kind of money. I'm kind of broke. Wait here for a second. Uh, I hope she doesn't get in trouble because of me. I don't want anybody else dying. Not 207? You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Achievement unlock me. Them cry. It didn't make me cry. Okay, so I guess the local police is the usual in here. <laughs> The Open Arms Hotel at the Bronx, late evening. Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and pause it here. So far, it's been kind of a steady flow on this episode. They definitely have put some answers to some of our questions, like the glamour with Snow White and Lily. It's been emotional, I would admit. <laughs> I love the game. I freaking love it. I can't wait to see some more. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you guys have any feedback for me, I really appreciate it. Just comment down below, and don't forget to sub. Have a great night. See you next time. Bye-bye.